Hi everybody, my name is Jen Tierney, I am one of the standbys at Come From Away London and I'm going to take you on a little backstage day in the life of Come From Away. So come with us and enjoy. Mwah. So today we are doing a put in for the new standbys that join us, lovely Craig and Helen and uh, they are learning their next tracks. So everybody comes in today including some of the on stage cast to do a run through with them so that they're ready to go if they need to play these parts. So, going down to the stage now, everybody's doing a vocal warm up and we'll see what the day ahead brings. Here's our lovely Craig, are you looking forward to your in today? Yeah, yeah, I'm very nervous but yeah, excited, it's going to be good. What part are you playing today? Today I'm playing Bob. Yes, good luck Craig. Thanks. Obviously, um, some in costume, some are not. So, for our room, Sorrel? Beverly. Beverly. Oz. Oz. Kevin T. Eula. <laughs> Eula. <Bula>. Bunny. <laughs> Hannah. Director. <laughs> Bob. Diane. FJ. Nick. Janice Mojo. Claude. Claude. Great. So, we have a cast. We'll do transitions with lights if everyone's ready. Any other news before we begin? Then let the games commence. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So here we are on a two-show day at Come From Away backstage in the standby room. We have the ladies with us. We have lovely Sorrel Marsh Hi. and lovely Lucy Park over here who's getting ready for two Hannah shows today. Hello. Hello. So we are going to take you on a bit of a journey with us on a two-show day backstage at Come From Away. Okay, so we have one of our lovely standbys, Miss Lucy Park here. Hello. Hi, Lucy. You joined us when? Um, June. June. And how many parts do you cover? Um, I cover five tracks. Amazing. And yeah. how's that been? Have you been enjoying the run? Yeah, actually. Um, I just finished um, putting for my fifth uh, cover track, which is Bonnie. And yeah, I had so much fun. Amazing. And how many have you played so far? Uh, two. Two. So far. Which ones? Uh, which was um, Hannah and Beulah. Beulah. Amazing. Yeah. Do you have a favourite that you like to play? Ooh, um, ooh, we'll see. I mean, I love all of the parts of different reasons, but I would love to play um, Diane if I'm given the chance. We'll see. Fantastic. Fingers crossed. She's a lovely role, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Amazing. We'll have two good shows today. We'll see you downstairs at Warm Up. Okay, so we are going down to the stage. So we have dressing rooms 14, 15, 16, which are our wig rooms, our dressing room for our lovely musical directors and wardrobe. Then on this floor, we have some of the cast. We have Harry Morrison, Miss Jenna Boyd. We have Jonathan and Lejean. And then there. So then we go downstairs, showers. And on this floor, we have five, six, and seven, which is Miss Alice Fern. Gemini Jones. And then along here, are they home? They are. Mr. Robert Hans. Can I give you a wave on camera, Mr. Robert Hans? Hello, there he is. Oh, ready for two shows today? Not off. Not off. <laughs> we love you. So nice having you back. Mwah. Very nice to be back. Mwah. And then our company manager's office and Tara, who's our resident director. And on here we have our physio board, which is on a Wednesday in between shows we get lovely physios to come in. My appointment's at five o'clock. Can't wait. See you on the stage. So this is lovely Claire, who's our company manager. You've been with us since we came back after the pandemic, yes? That's correct, yeah. Amazing. How are you finding it? Do you enjoy the show? Absolutely love it. Oh. It's great. We're very lucky to have you, Claire. Oh, it's <laughs> great to be here. Ah, see you in a bit. Bye. I'm messing. And then along here we have Paddy Doherty, who's actually on holiday. And then Kate Graham's room, who must have had a clean. <laughs> this is lovely Kate, who's our gorgeous Diane, but her room is completely empty. And then along here, this is where Kiara has been living for a while, well before she leaves us for maternity. Uh, and then our stage door is here. So yeah, let's go down to the stage. Here we go. And this is our Newfoundland flag. So all the companies from around the world uh, signed this Newfoundland flag and sent it to us when we opened in London. So all the different signatures are on there from everybody around the world of the global companies. Very cool thing to have. Okay, so here we are backstage. This is our prop corner, one of two. So we have Kev J's, uh, well, the Ali uh, prayer mat. We have the lunch bags, which have, I believe, just sponge in them, not to ruin the magic. <laughs> Uh, lots of old school phones here. A little Nokia, I used to have one of these. Various other things. 
uh, what else? Torches, which we use in the air traffic control scene. Um, the phone that um, Bula brings on for Hannah. There's uh, Janice's, or one of the mics. That's not Janice's mic, that's somebody's mic. And then here we have the sound booth, which is backstage. Um, this is where they check all the radio signals and making sure all our mics are working perfectly. Interesting point, we all have two mics on at any one time because the show is so fast. They don't have time for us to um, uh, change mics, so we always have two on. And this is a little screen where the sound team can watch the show. There's warm-up going on. All our little faces. <laughs> there we all are. And yeah, and backstage that would be where the musical director sits so they can watch all the cues. All right, here we are at warm-up. We have lovely Craig, Lim's Emma Salvo hiding from us, and Stuart Hickey. Happy to show day, everybody. Happy to show day. different chairs they're all numbered you can see here this is number seven uh, I love that, although Sorel Marsh has different names for all the chairs you have different names for all the chairs don't you I do. do you want to talk us through them quickly oh no I know you remember right okay this is number six yes known um, as half a sixpence good here we are in the picnic chair yes what is it the picnic chair the picnic chair good that yes. one for me this is number 11 it's the second cover the first cover is number two it's very similar but bigger very true very true um, this is Harry Morrison in the background by the way, he's away, hello. This is number eight, because it's got green, we call that after eight. Fabulous, good. Uh, this one here, number seven, but I call that the elbow chair, because Alice, who plays Beverly, is on it quite a lot. Yes, exactly, good. Um, number nine is the library chair. Good, good. <laughs> we got number 13, I call that one unlucky for some, because she's circular. <laughs> You've got to make sure you get her on that one safely. Good. This one's a bit boring, we just call it the cream chair. Cream chair. Yeah, not, not very imaginative. But it's good to have a Harry definitive Potter's one. over there. That's that chair at the front. Nana's there, the one with the stitching on. Yes. Is that everybody? We've done the first cover over there. Has that helped you kind of as a standby, kind of definitively? Yes, so because them? otherwise it's numbers and then numbers on the front. So I, if I have two numbers, I'm... Very good. It's the numbers where the name of the chair and the number. Amazing. My weird Superstar, super standby who's come back. <laughs> LeJean Shepherd. Oh, no. Hello. Hello, how are you today? I'm sweaty. <laughs> how long have you been with us? Oh, I don't know. I started in June, was it? Yeah, how many months so. is that? Oh. Four or five? Four ish, yeah. Are you enjoying it? I'm loving it, I'm loving it. It's lovely like... cast, lovely show. It's nice and quick. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, darling. Have a good two shows Thank today. You, so, this is our beautiful auditorium. There's all our stage management stuff down there. Hi, everybody. Give us a wave. Coming for you later. auditorium and out there you might be able to see screens on the balcony just up there that's where our musical director is for us so that we can watch for cues and everything so yeah here we are <laughs> harry morrison you've been with us since the beginning as well yeah yes <laughs> what's your favorite bit of the show oh i don't know there's loads of good stuff um okay i've got two i've got one serious one and one pretend one well not pretend but true um my favorite bit seriously is the prayer because i love it and i love the message and i think it's beautiful and my favorite bit to do is the backing vocals of stop the world because i feel like i'm in like a children in need music video like doing my R's. I feel like I'm sad. When I was a kid, I auditioned to be one of Martin McCutcheon's backing singers on Perfect Moment. This is new information. And I, I know, and I didn't get it. And I feel like every night I get to give my Martin McCutcheon backing singers. Well, Martin, if you're watching, you know where he is. Come on, come on, Martin. <laughs> So this is our other props corner where we have, again, more phones. This is a fun one. This is the disposable camera uh, that um, Robert, or our lovely Nick's have, um, for when he takes a picture of Diane on the Dover Fault. So they're a bit old school too. I remember having lots of them. Water bottles for days, because we don't have much opportunity, so everybody has a water bottle on the side. Torches, checkbook. This is the checkbook that we have for Claude. Then he writes the check at the end of the show for the passengers. Um, that's about it here. This is a preset here. This is for blankets and bedding. This is the prop cloaks and uh, cloaks costumes that get put on the chairs for a quick change. So this is our costume corner here. So we have Captain Bristol's jacket with all these stripes. This is Kev T's. Maybe preset with a bottle of Grey Goose in there. There it is. 
hiding. Miss Alistair and having a warm up behind me. Here we are. This is all of our this is all of our musicians area. So here we have all the pipes, guitars and mandolin and all the rest of those beautiful instruments with our incredible uh, our incredible musicians. Very lucky we have an incredible band. Okay, so here we are in Prompt Corner and we have our lovely stage manager Diane with us. And it's a little bit dark up here, but we can kind of see you. But um, tell us, Diane, about your job when you come in. You joined us from the beginning of Come Away, yes? Yeah, so I'm stage manager on the book, which means I'm doing two roles. Usually in theatre you have DSM, ASMs and the SM, but my roles combined, so SM and DSM. Which means that I very often call the show from the prompt desk, which is this lovely desk here. Yes. And I call from a queue, uh, from a book with all the cues in it. And I do all the cue lights. And I speak to all our departments on cans. Amazing. Um, so yeah, so I run the show from here. Any problems or anything? Just talk us through those screens. So you've got an, you've got like a sky view. So this view. is an overhead view of um, the revolve, mm -hmm. so that when things are going round, I can see where everybody is, so that they're safe because you can see the revolve moving there. Mm -hmm. This is the MD monitor, and then this is the view of the whole stage from the front. Awesome. And so talk us through like one of the cues because obviously, how many cues do you have in the show? Seven hundred and eighty-five. It's not just point numbers as well. So more than that. Amazing. Yeah. Well, wow. so. so how does it work if you were to give us a quick demo of a cue? So if you see here on my book, I've got an arrow after the word food, mm -hmm. and then I've got a number here, so LXQ308. So I say the word go after the word food. So I actually physically say LXQ308, go. Awesome. But it's constant on it, this show. It is. Just and how many, how many do you have in your team? I have got... There's four of us in the team, three ASMs and me. Mm -hmm. The ASMs all cover the book. They all cover automation, which is this desk here. Yeah. And automation um, is like the revolve and yeah. the hatch and, and things hatch. like that. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And what um, what does a typical day look like for you when you come into work? So I'm usually in latest by four o'clock. I come in and I do paperwork. So I have to do rotors, timesheets, schedules for everyone and just make sure that everybody knows what's going on because I'm sort of the linchpin with Claire who's our company manager to make sure that all the technical teams and everyone knows what's going on um, and then the team come in sort of five o'clock and we set up the wings with all the props and the furniture make sure everything's fine and then the next thing that's officially we do is calling cast to the stage for warm-up which you just said. Awesome and you're a fabulous team we thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See you soon have good okay. two shows. Girls say hello introduce yourselves. Hi. Hi um, I'm Alexa I'm one of the ASM book covers on Come From Away and this is a lovely I'm Georgie, I'm the ASM Jet on Come From Away. Awesome, and what are you guys up to right now? We are currently shout checking our props and just making sure everything is where it should be. And if it isn't, we go looking for it and figure out where it is, usually one of the actors' dress rooms. Um, <laughs> not really. But yeah, we just do that and that, we do that every show, before every show. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys, see you later. Yeah, bye. bye. Okay, so here we are uh, on the stage right corner of the stage. So here, this is where uh, our lovely Alan Berry or Hugh Evans or whatever depths we have on conduct the show from. So they have a keyboard. This is their score that they have. Um, this is where um, all their... Uh what's it called, the click track and everything is coming from. We have Erica, the accordion. She's very special to our show, very important, big, heavily featured, and also the harmonium, which is played on the keys and they move the springs back and forth, which is a moment in prayer specifically. I think it's probably elsewhere as well. Um, and this is a monitor. Um, where we can view, hello, that's me, <laughs> um, and the camera, there's a little camera here, so that's where Alan or Hugh or whoever's conducting will feed all their conducting moments into and then it will come through the monitor to the rest of the musicians in the show. Uh, and here we have our bass corner, um, beautiful bass, it's got the upright electric bass there as well, which is beautiful. Um, and this is actually a random one, this is a chair which is kept specifically for any depths that are coming in to learn the show. So they do a show watch um, from sitting here, so that they can see Alan or they can see whoever's conducting and also get a feel for what's going on on stage. It's so lovely having the band on stage with us, it really does make the show. And then, over there, we have our percussion corner. We also have a full drum kit, which is sub-stage. But here we have all the various different instruments um, that are mainly played by Ray or all his depths. Lots of different things going on there. So yeah, it's a very, um, very unique show musically, but um, it's a beautiful sound. Okay, so back here, this is used by Bonnie. This is the hatch. So 
She comes back here to come through as if she's in the plane hatch. So here we have lovely Lyle in his cage, preset and ready to go for the show. Um, here there is a cross to tell us not to go any further than here because otherwise the audience will see us through the psych and through the lights. And then we go up these little perspex stairs and up there is the hatch that opens um, for the scene. There have been a couple of moments where the hatch has not opened, <laughs> which makes it very entertaining, but um, it's lovely playing Bonnie. She's a, a gorgeous role to play. And then this is the backstage crossover. So if we want to get to the other side of the stage, we come through here, come all the way around. And this is where lovely Tom sits, who's our automation guy come round here and now we are on stage left. Also backstage we have all these spare chairs. Obviously they are furniture, they will break, they do get broken, you know they get thrown about quite a bit in our show so we have them all stacked up here if they're ever needed uh, during the show or to be swapped out. Here we have our gorgeous Robert Hans. Now you rejoined us recently didn't you? I did, three months ago. Wow, and what's it like being back? It's the best thing that's ever happened. Oh, to us. <laughs> no, I love it. No, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, I think I love it more than I did the first time around, actually. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm having a really, really nice time. I'm uh, very lucky to have you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> no, I, I don't know why, but I, I, I feel really blessed to have a job to go to and, you know, uh, and it's, it's such a lovely show to be in. It's, it's really good fun. And do you have a favourite part of the show? Um. I love my scenes. I, 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 I mean, perhaps it's not we men, but me, as the show as a whole. I, I tell you what, I, I, obviously, I, I really still love doing all my scenes. I always find something else uh, every time I do one. Mm. But I love. I'm not actually not. I'm the only member of the cast that's not in prayer, and I watch it uh, every night, and it moves me every night. It's lovely to listen to, and it's. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's my favourite bit. And I'm really sorry I'm not in it too. I don't know why I'm not. Don't know why that is. You're the only person, yeah. yeah. I have to say that Robert was my absolute godsend. There was one night for the first time when I got thrown on for Diane at the quarter. And oh she was God, my yeah. third cover in the first year. That's right. And um, if I hadn't had you next to me, I don't know how that would have gone. So I was very grateful that you were there with me. You it was, smashed it. Well, yeah. you're very kind. <laughs> we're lucky to have you. Lots of love. And here we have lovely Alice Fern. Ready for two-show day today? I am, darling, yes. I've got my, I've had my ibuprofen. <laughs> um, it's a joke, haha. <laughs> um, uh, lots of water. Just a simple, small water bottle for me. She's hydrated um, to the max. Just to make sure I'm hydrated for two shows. <laughs> Superstar. So, tell us, what is your favourite part of the show? Um, I have quite a few, really. I, but I, I suppose I really enjoy somewhere in the middle of nowhere where everyone returns home at the end of the show. Um, and my character specifically sees her husband Tom. I always um, uh, imagine what I'm. I'm absolutely useless at leaving my husband. And when I come home from anyway, be Perfect. a holiday at work. This is your quarter now call. It's my quarter hour call, guys. I'm really busy. Very very busy. Thank you. Yeah, when I come home, um, I'm always a bit like emotional when I return home. So I can only but imagine what uh, the feeling must have been like for Beverly Bass coming home that day. Uh, so I, I particularly connect to that, but you know, listen, I love singing "Me in the Sky." It's such such a cracker of a tune, and um, and a number and a moment for for that part. So probably those two. Amazing. So and didn't you get to meet uh, Beverly Bass online? Uh, yes. So you know, pandemic's been great for that. Um, mm -hmm. So we really love Zoom. Um, and yeah, I did a radio BBC Radio Two uh, interview with Jeremy Vine. And we had Beverly on screen behind us. Uh, we were chatting to her about the events of the day and the show. And then I actually sang Me in the Sky while she was sat sitting there on screen watching it. So that was terrifying. That was so surreal. Oh yeah, God. very weird. Oh, but Jen Clearly had a chat with her yes! as well. Oh my God, she's my girl crush. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I just love her. She was so... We did a, a chat about the show and, our, and the part we play um, uh, on Zoom again, we love Zoom, and uh, and it was just, gosh, extraordinary. She's such, she's got such a zest for life and she's so joyful and and so extraordinarily lovely and beautiful as well, which was just so nice. And to hear the creation of this role that she created really, uh, the musical version, you know, it's, it's amazing to get all those sort of like insights. Um, but she asked me the re the funniest questions. Like I was expecting to be really deep into questions, and she was like, "When do you like swallow in Me in the Sky? And what do you do if you need to cough?" And I was like, 
you're Jen Colella, why am I telling you this? Um, so yeah, that's, yeah, I've met them both, so that's pretty special, very lucky fun. Amazing, and had you seen the show before you played the role? No, I hadn't. I was in work uh, when it first came out over here. Um, I'd heard the soundtrack and I loved it, but I hadn't seen it. And then when I, I'd only just left my job and I got an audition through and I went, oh, I should probably go and see that then. I should go and see it and see what I'm up for. Um, I knew the song a little bit, but, um, uh, and yeah, and then I went to see it and I just went, ooh, I'm going to need to get that. <laughs> well, we're very lucky to have you. Bye. Have a good show, show us today. Bye, darling, I must go warm up. There we go. Okay, so we are sub-stage and we are with our gorgeous band members down here. Here we have Ray, who plays percussion. We have Alan Berry, who's our musical director. We have lovely Ian, who's our drummer, who lives sub-stage, don't you? But you do get about at the end. And we have lovely Ollie on guitars. Ollie, how many, ol how many Ollies do you play? How many guitars do you play in the show? <laughs> I've got five guitars in total. Five so, guitars. Yeah, two. Three acoustics. So two, and then two electrics. One of the electrics is for on stage, one of the acoustics is for on stage as well, so they're all mic'd up, ready to go Amazing. on stage. So. Have you got a favourite bit that you like to play in the show? Um, probably the right at the end of the show when we get our own little band bit, and I get to jump off the chair right at the end. So. Very rock star, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Ian, does it get a bit lonely in that pit downstairs? <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty lonely, yeah. Oh, but he comes out and has a nice bow at the end, don't you? Top billing. Absolutely, absolutely. Alan Berry. Hello. You've been with us since the beginning. I have. Can you tell by the back? Not at all, yeah. dear. Tell us about your job in the show. Good grief. So I sit there and I play, uh, do a bit of piano, do a bit of conducting, head, uh, head and hands. Um, piano, accordion. Uh, accordion's called Erica, by the way. Uh, you had to learn the accordion to do the show, right? I did, yeah. Myself and Hugh, the associate. Yeah, yeah. And have you got a favourite bit of the show? Um... I have to agree with Ollie that but there's, there's no other show that gets uh, that big nod to the band at the end. Um, so it's just amazing, just, you know, it's just just our moment, like 90 seconds of just pure joy. The audience just go mental. It's just, yeah, it's really, 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 really fun. Oh, it's the beginner's call. It is, it is, call. it is. Well, thank and you, not, Last but not least, Ray. And last but not least, oh, right. now, Ray, you're from Ireland, yes? Yeah, for, for all of my sins. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, the, but the instruments you specifically play are very Celtic, um, no? Well, boron, which is um, an Irish traditional frame drum, mm -hmm. and then there's the djembe and there's the udu. And, and what's that one? That's the one that makes that kind of clouded yeah. sound, right? And then there's tinilda. Do you know who tinilda no, is? No, I don't. Okay, tinilda is the ugly stick. Oh, is that what she's called? Yeah, she's, that's what I named her. I'm in love with her. I, I, I know you don't know that, but... <laughs> It's a secret love affair, don't we? Oh, I know. I see, I see the love, Ray. And she misses you quite often, because there's been a couple yeah. of times when I've had to play it, I've and been, Alice has had to play it. Yeah, I have been caught in the um, janitor's closet with her on a couple of occasions. <laughs> I'll introduce you to the ugly stick later, okay, everybody. Okay, so that's Tidilda. Now, maybe I should stop talking at this <laughs> All right, so this is actually where Ian lives during the show. My goodness, what a setup! Do you want to talk us through it? Yeah, it's just a basic drum kit here. We've got a couple of little bits, a djembe, a little cajon, and some little bits and pieces. Awesome. Yeah. Do you enjoy playing the show? Love it. Love the show. Amazing. Love the music. And what's this in here? You see the screen is here. You can yeah, see what's I've going on stage. Yeah, I've got a screen stage. of the stage. I've got a screen of the MD, Alan, here. Mm -hmm. Got my little uh, hanging basket there. You know. <laughs> Anything to make it homely. Yeah. Awesome. We'll have two good shows, darling. Go.